Jake Stays Awake by Michael Wright. There was a little boy whose name was Jake, and every night he'd stay awake. Unless I can sleep with my parents, he said. I won't close my eyes, and I won't go to bed. So every night around 1044, he'd wander on up to his mom and dad's door and stand there and knock till they finally said, All right, all right, Jake, you can sleep in our bed. All right, come on in, Jake. This drove his poor parents straight up a tree. They had a bed made for two, not a bed made for three. We love you, dear Jake, but we can't even doze. How can we sleep with your toes up our nose? But night after night, for a moment of rest, they let Jake climb in. They thought it was best. And that's when they knew something had to be done. Their sleeping arrangements were no longer fun. So his mother and father thought hard and thought long and came up with a plan that just couldn't go wrong. We'll sleep with you, son, just not in our bed. Is there some other place we could try out instead? Jake considered their offer a second or two. Then smiling, he said, I know just what to do. He headed outside and pointed straight up. Uh-oh, thought his parents. No way, thought his pup. Then they climbed to the roof and attempted to sleep. But sleep's pretty tricky on something so steep. Then nervously Jake said, Perhaps we should try finding some other spot that's not quite so high. Jake climbed up the stairs and said, Let's all sleep here. But that turned out to be a big pain in the rear. Jake jumped in the bathtub with his rubber duck. Then in popped his parents and they all got stuck. He thought that the kitchen might be a good place, but it's tough to sleep when you're feeding your face. The garbage can seemed a great idea at first, till things started stinking like old liverwurst. The car was as boring as boring could be, like taking a long drive with nothing to see. As he lay there and listened to his parents snore, Jake thought of the one place he hadn't before. Instead of the roof or the stairs or the bath, instead of the kitchen, the car, or the trash, Jake thought that his bed didn't sound quite so bad, so he whispered good night to his mom and his dad. Jake walked himself back to bed in his room, where he slept without moving till quarter to noon. His parents are happy again with their son, and everyone's realized it's not always fun to have kids sleep with parents night after night. But every once in a while, well, that's quite all right.